Take me to Welcome back to yet another episode of the Beach Boys Media Podcast. It's been three days since we've talked to you. It feels like forever because that's how much I love talking to you guys. Oh, how romantic. How romantic baseball is, but we'll get to all the Yankee stuff in a bit before that. Gotta ask Isaac how he's doing with his Renegades hat on. Um, yeah, a little late on the record day, but Yankees win. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. Long, long day here. Um, did a little, did a little tackle work. Did a little school work. Played some soccer outside. Ooh. Uh, shut down an MLM in like five minutes into go. the presentation. Fire. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, multi-level marketing scheme. Don't fall for it. Um, I don't know. Not, not a lot going on. Pretty happy about the Yankees, man. Uh huh. Um, uh huh. Pretty, pretty thrilled that this team, you know, kind of, I don't want to say similar to last year because they also got off to, like, kind of a nice start, if I kind remember of. correctly. Historically good start. Um, historic start. Um, but, yeah, man, this team's solid, and I'm doing great. Weather pretty shitty here today, though. Okay. I, How about you? I'm actually, like, you know, weather is, like, a nice, stupid, dumb icebreaker question, but I wanted to ask oh, you about dude, your weather, that's, bro, bro. That's what, <laughs> I mean. No, 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 because here's dude, the thing. In Ithaca, like, three hours away from you. Bro, the yeah. weather was so beautiful for the first, I don't know, until like 3 p.m. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then it rained. And then it started pouring, like thunderstorm. Like, I don't is know. Is that the noise? I don't think that's the noise that a thunderstorm makes. How that would sounded you, more how like, would you like, like an, old, an old like V4 Honda engine. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Anyway, yeah, dude. So the weather's been, <laughs> it's like really humid out now. Um, gotcha. But I don't know. I think it's unpredictable with these weather because they can't give us like a 75 degree beautiful weather and then go to snow right they, they better not so i'm, I'm hoping for the best cross Wait, my fingers. is it actually snowing no no it's not snowing but uh i heard some forecast snow on the radar i don't know baseball season underway i don't want to see any snow yeah yeah okay now i'm gonna change the topic before someone you know offs themselves listening to us talk about the weather for any longer time uh <laughs> i say we just jump right into this john uh Alrighty. john because it's philly uh john l for philly two l's actually and Yanks take the series where do you want to start i don't do the fans need a refresher on how Stop. we do this if thing the fans or... need a refresher if you if they don't know by now you need to click off this video right now that's don't encourage them to not watch the video, you fucking idiot. Jesus, but, but guys, on, don't man. listen to what he's saying. Come on, like, man, you gotta know what the program is here. Yeah, did you see 173 views on our last pod after not posting for like a month? Bro, we're back. The season is on. People are fine. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for later. Actually, I'm not gonna say you that. But no, we, I, I, I uh, appreciate Get all of you. All 173 of you. Thank you guys for listening. Hopefully you guys are back listening to this one because we got a lot to talk about. Aaron Hicks. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's talk. I think I think 170 of them is me, Julie Goldberg, and Miho Suzuki. That's a lot of Miho Just clicking and Julie on the video stuff. over and over <laughs> again. Um, yeah, let's let's get right into it. Um, honestly, do you want to just bring up the... I, I, you know, I like our format, but also sometimes I just want to talk about the like the stuff that I want to talk about. You know, I want to get to the chase I, because I, you're very impatient. I just want to get to the chase. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Aaron Hicks, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I know. Okay, offense. <laughs> Topic of the day here, Aaron Hicks, man. You, my good friend. Can we do like rotten um, egg first. Our, or is this like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is rotten this egg, is rotten guys. Egg. So rotten egg, golden egg, rotten egg. I think let's both agree because I don't want to give out a rotten egg to anyone else because they win a series against a good team, right? Can we just both agree, Hicks, and discuss? I have a rotten egg actually, so you could go with Aaron Hicks. Thanks. You're gonna say Anthony Volpe? It's like no, it's not, not original, I'm dude. I'm not gonna go Anthony. Yeah, Volpe. you are. No, I'm not. I'm going yeah, with you the are. pitcher. Nope. Uh, there's a guy. Then you want Michael King? Yes, I am. Michael King. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Bang, dude, I, I'm actually in your head. Anyway, <laughs> Aaron <laughs> Hicks, off. man, he. He is a complex situation. I think he's gone out of New York within the next two months. Okay. Um, uh, I just do not see him thriving in an environment where he gets deathly booed every time he steps on the field. And you know, it's not even like I, I don't even. I kind of feel bad for Hicksy now. Like he has definitely earned the boos, but like this early in the season, like come on, guys. Like it, it, it really hurts because. You know, I, I know that Yankee fans want to make a villain. They love the, you know, the villain versus the hero stories. Like, you know, you got guys, that, you know, they're chanting Volpe's name. Meanwhile, he gets one hit, makes two errors. Like, he's a rookie, obviously, so they give him slack. But, like, I kind of feel bad for Hicks. Yeah. Like, it's so early in the season, and he's getting booed like it's August, and he's batting, like, at, you know, at, at the line, right? Yeah. So, um, 
you know, and, and maybe it's because of the lack of hustle, the not hitting, the the comments of the public, which clearly didn't help. But um, yeah, I'm, I, his trade value tanked, and and <laughs> he's not going to do very well in in the playing time he gets with the Yankees. I I just don't see it like figuring itself out right now. Yeah. So sorry to start on a negative note, guys, but you know it had to be talked it about. It is what it is. You know, yeah, I agree with you, but about all the booing stuff, I don't. Um, you know, I'm I'm not the type of person to go to the stadium to boo a player if they're on the Yankees. I'm you ro- booed a player? Uh, no, I have not. I have never booed a yes, player. Yes, you have. Who? I've said I've talked shit in certain you know, situations. I've never booed. I, what is the difference not, between talking shit and booing? Is that vi- is that okay, actually? Oh, I could actually physically hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it actually the boo? Is like if you don't do that noise, is it not considered booing? What if you're like fuck you? Like then that's still considered no, fuck you crowd noise thing. booing. Yeah. My okay. my shit. So what do you talk- consider? Okay, so my shit talking is differentiated from all the fans booing because my fuck yous are situational. Like IKF, <laughs> let's put something in the air. What are you doing? Let's go. Fuck you. What are you doing? You're not hitting the ball right. Aaron Hicks You're not booing. Making They're a very booing good him before the game starts in introductions in before at bats, walking up to the plate. Like oh, okay. I don't agree with that. Like if if he's up to bat in a in an important situation, I'm gonna cheer him on until he doesn't do well. You know what I'm saying? Like the pre you know what I'm the, the, the pre at bat <laughs> booing, the pre introduction booing is a little too much yeah. for me. Especially just, like second game of the day or second game of the series, no one's hitting. There's an Anthony Volpe single up the middle and there's a Glaber Torres push single to right field. Anyway, everyone else, seven seven other hitters are not hitting, and everyone's just targeting Aaron Hicks. Like, I don't agree with that. Yeah, and that's, but, and, and that's like, you know, I and it, this goes back way, to but... last year, too. Like, I, I remember we were, sorry, I had to, sorry. We, we were in the stadium for some of the first Aaron Hicks boos, like, early in the year where, you know, you were struggling, or maybe, like, middle, middle of the year, June, I forgot. Um, and it's like, okay, he's hitting really bad, I understand he gets the booze. He's not hustling in the outfield, but like to start off the year, guys, it's rough. Like, I also it's like really understand rough. it though because and, like, of the I comments don't... and stuff. But it's tough. But the comments weren't even that bad. They He's just saying they he weren't. wants to play. They weren't that bad. It's just like there's such a high standard with the New York media. Like you have to be like Giancarlo and Judge, where it's like this Perfect. game is a hundred percent on me. Like and, and baseball is a hard sport. Like Giancarlo, he doesn't come through in a big situation. You know the best hitters in the world hit, hit three out of ten. They they, they fail seventy percent of the time. So for him to say in in, in one at bat against a guy closer or someone throwing a hundred with a nasty a crazy RPM slider to say the game's on me is like a crazy outlandish statement if you think about it. The only reason he's saying that is because he's trying to be accountable and trying to be on the right side of the New York media. So you got a guy like Aaron Hicks who comes in and says I just want more playing time. That's taken as like the craziest (laughs) fucking thing anyone's ever said. Like you you see you see the comparison though, right? Like like and any player blaming themselves for the game is 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 stupid because you you fail more than more than not in in, in this game. Also, that's what makes I think, the game beautiful. I think if Hicks is listening, I think it would have helped if he had another uh, sentence after that where he said like I understand why I'm not getting playing time, but I would like to have more playing time. There had to be but like, I don't one think more he cushion does. there. I don't. I like, don't think he does understand because I think, think about it. On. He balled out in sp- no, no. But listen, he did not if you're ball him, out in spring training. He had a nice. Uh, he did nice, well. He had a spring. nice spring training. Let me look. You're, you're, think about Hicks' perspective. You you had a nice spring training. Your your veteran has been with the team for the last what five six years. You're you're getting paid a, a you know not a crazy contract but a good contract. Um, you expect to kind of start some games, and and then you got IKF starting in the outfield, who's a third baseman and catcher, like. That's got to be a slap in the face, so I can kind of understand where he's coming from. Like, I would, I want to play. Like, you know, if he was already doing shitty, then okay, I would expect him to say that. But it's the beginning of the year; he shouldn't have to say like, "Oh, I, I suck." Like, it, it, you know, you're a competitor. You, you don't go into it thinking, "Well, I suck, so I don't deserve to play." You think, no, I, I, I can do so much better." That's like, why I'm saying you know, I, I understand his comments uh, just to the media and to the fans. It's tough. He had a two. That's what I'm saying. Is the New York media is so overcritical that it's like it's you you He's in a you ruin spot. a ball player's mental health I almost. Agree. Like I mean, almost. You definitely do. Do you think this has reached Gallo levels from last year? I I think it's about to. I really think it's about to. Okay. Like he needs to get dude, a hit did out you of the hear? way. Dude. Cool. Did you? He- no, they're gonna sarcastic clap, and it's gonna be like even worse. Honestly. Uh, so what can make this better? 
he just has to hit him. He has to hit like four hundred for like a month. Like honestly, not happening. Like I'm sorry. He has to. He has to here. No, realistically, he has to not drop a ball in the outfield. Hustle. Yeah, he has to hit. Yeah, so he has to hustle. Um, he has to have like one or two home runs this month. By the way, or, those first you know, two asks aren't that in, impossible. Like to hustle. That's yeah, easy. I know. To not he has drop to have a ball. Couple, that's easy. And then and then well for Hicksy and you know. <laughs> And then he has to get like some clutch hit, like some to moment. tie the he game. Needs with to have some a to... He needs a moment. He needs a moment. And then he needs to stay somewhat consistent, just not like striking out every time and then one big hit every week. Like, yeah. you know, I, and, you know. And I, I on, on the baseball technical side of this, I know I'm talking a lot, so I'm, I'm sorry, Ken. No, no, no. But um, like to hear your I think baseball talk. I think Aaron Hicks's swing, and this has always been the case, is is so complicated. There's so much pre-pitch movement or or pre-swing movement like I I, and I I really hate to cite Donaldson in this but I mean Donaldson did change like Aaron Hicks does this thing where he he wraps he like wraps the bat around his shoulder picks up his leg to his chest has to get the foot down like you know how much of a massive timing mechanism that is like Mm -hmm. just from a perspective like you know me like adjustments I made in the off season was like <laughs> club Albany <laughs> baseball player by the way. <laughs> I I had a massive leg kick like going into last year and I was you know I was I wanted to get more power because I was sick of like you know like grounding out and stuff and I wanted to get more power so I did okay. a bigger leg kick. But no, I shortened up, had a smaller toe tap, just straight to the ball. Like I think Aaron Hicks could actually benefit. So Hicksy, if you're listening. You could just do like a little toe tap, something. Stop it with the massive leg kick. Stop wrapping the bat around, because then, because then you're here. Like, <laughs> like, I, sorry guys. Here, I'm gonna increase my mic volume so everyone can hear. Because like, if you wrap the bat around, so he starts here, right? Wraps it around here and then swings. So now you got to go from here to here. <laughs> if you just stay here, you're just there. Like, like it, I, I know you're laughing. No, at me, no, but like, it makes sense. I'm sure this is what. Who's the Yankees hitting coach? I forgot his name. I saw an interview with him today. Lawson? Is it still Lawson? Lawson. Yeah. If he like just be like cut it out with that bullshit. Yeah. Like you're you're just you're just time wasting. Like you're 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 not getting your foot down and then you're and then you're late on the fastball and early on the fucking off speed and then you're lost and you're in no man's land. Yeah. He, and and you wanna keep if you don't want to get keep you know, keep getting booed, change something. Like you got know. you know, change something. He struggled quite a bit already. I don't know if this this little struggle streak will uh motivate him to change but, his swing all of a sudden. But if it's been a struggle streak for so long, you'd think he makes some adjustments. You'd like I saw so. they said like Apparently Aaron Hicks uh got you know, was really hitting the gym in the off season, got bigger, got healthier. That's, That's great, great and all, but yeah. if you if you're still putting the same swing product out on the field, then like what the fuck what's the difference? <laughs> No, I agree. Sorry, but, that that's kind of my rant. But that um, lefty, no, that's that's that that um that all rings true for the lefty side of the swing. But the righty side of the swing, he actually does is kind of quick to the ball, kind of just puts the ball on the bat. Um, he doesn't have that twist in his arm before pre pitch. Still has that leg kick, but I think his right. If he was just a strictly righty hitter, I think he might have a higher average, less power. Your mic is muted, but you're still doing. He doesn't have that on the right side. Yeah, for the YouTube watchers out there. But yeah, you want to unmute your mic, buddy? That might help. The hundred and seventy-three of you. Yeah, the hundred seventy-three of you. Um, Not even worth it for me to say. Uh, let's move on. Um, yeah, so that was kind of the offense. Um, do you want to give a grade, or do you want to talk about some good in the offense? Uh, quickly, we should talk about some good. I mean, yeah, Yankees we, we scored some. I mean, Yankees scored some runs today. Jose Trevino, two run Jack. Um, who I, I forgot how the second run. So Glaber Torres, I put a Nefta or whatever it is, Nifta. I don't know how to pronounce it. Which is no runs in the first inning, and I would have made like twenty bucks. I bet like four, and I put three games, and they all hit except for the Yankees. Because goddamn Glaber Torres has to bo- come broken through, bat clutch. single down 0-2. Like, dude, the Yankees never score in the first inning like that. Like, never get base hits. It's usually a solo home run. Like, come on. Mm-hmm. I'm never betting against the Yankees again. But um, Glaber Torres, man, I, that's the guy I wanted to highlight. Um, he looks like a completely different ball player um, than what I a lot of Yankee fans, I think, remember from last year, and that's mainly because of the month of August where he did so poorly. But, dude, when Glaber's on, it's so fun to watch. Yeah. Like, he's he just, he has like, so much fun playing he's, baseball. 
yeah, he's smiling. He's spraying the ball everywhere. He he's like a sneaky candidate for like most deals in the AL right now. <laughs> like he's he's going every time he's on base, yeah, he's and he's so only got aggressive. thrown out once too. Like goddamn, Glaby, I I love seeing that, and a lot of people are like you, you know, included me. Please. Me, no, no. I mean, I, I didn't have a lot of faith in him because, you know, I I think he's definitely like a, a very mental player. I mean, you can make an argument for all baseball players, but, you know, I think he gets in his head and, you know, the crowd gets on him a little bit and he puts too much pressure on himself, doesn't run out of bag, and, and then there's a whole situation. But he just looks like he's having so much fun and, and playing really good. And so I just really, really go Glaber, man. Go really Glaber. go Glaber. Yeah, the vibe. That's your guy, so I'm going to let you talk about him. No, you kind of nailed it, but the vibes between Glaber and how fun, how much fun he's having compared to Hicks and how he looks in the dugout, Aaron Judge has to come talk to him. Like, this is just um, day and night, 180 degree change. I wonder I wonder if Ollie wrote in his notes, like, Aaron Judge having to confront Aaron Hicks on uh, it wasn't punching a, a fan in the face after booing him. It was more of a nice pat on the back, captain. He's just saying I'm here for you. Yeah. Which is what you want to do, but I mean, he's not going to be his captain much longer. So, oh. I mean, the gesture's there. Yeah. At least. Great gesture from Judgey. Um, anyone else? Anyone else we should highlight? I mean, the Yankees are scoring runs. Rizzo hits a no doubter. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Giancarlo, oh. what? DJ. DJ's, dude, that's your guy. He's doing well. No, but I, I talked about your guy, so all can right. you talk about my so guy? So, DJ is just spraying the ball all over the field, just barreling it up. Um, in what was that? The second game, uh, he hits three first first three at bats. He just hits it on the nose. All three are outs. All line outs to center field, right center. He finally gets one over the wall against Kimbrel. Um, you like to see that uh, power out of DJ because when the power is there, that tells you he's fully fully healthy. Today he gaps one in the left center field gap. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. His his health is so important to this Yankee lineup at the top of the order. And when he's getting on base, I think he's seeing 300, close to 1,000 OPS to start the season. Him and Glaber, man, those two, that, that's, such, that's such an importance to this lineup. Can I, can I give you a sneaky bet that I feel like I should have made? Uh, DJ to lead the league in batting average? God damn it, dude. Why? I'm so like, smart. Actually... <laughs> oh, my God. No, but it goes both ways. I'm in your head, too. I, I'm, I remember the Michael King thing. I, I was literally like, so who are you going to say? Michael Anthony well, Volpe, yeah, Michael easy. King. That's easy. That's like who struggled okay. in the series. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. fine. I'm but, so um, in your head. Dude, I, I'm so happy for DJ, man. If DJ and Glaber hit, because you know what you're getting from Riz, Giancarlo, Judge. Like, you you know what you're getting from those guys. Like, like They're going to be solid ball players. You know, yeah, and you know what you're getting from... Uh, actually, I don't want to go there, but you know, I think those two pieces are so important, to Yankees. Yeah. I mean, DJ with the with the contact, which is crucial, um, and a healthy DJ LeMahieu is potentially the second best hitter on this team. Like, whoa, just whoa. pure. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. Hear me out. I'm not saying like power wise or anything. Just like pure bat to ball hitterish skills. Like, I think I think he's second behind Judge. Like, I really do think that's him. Um, I, I, I think, I think DJ could potentially be like top 10 in MVP candidate this year. He's back. And that's he's not fully a, back. He's back, dude. And that's the, that's why he's the name of my fantasy team. DJ will make you MVP comeback season. So, yeah. Yeah. I love DJ. Oh, and then, um, made a really nice play at third, by the way. Um, he might wait in, in what game in game one. I think he made a really nice backhanded play. Um, and by the way, that transitions into Donaldson's injury that might lead to seeing DJ more at third in the upcoming right. series. Uh, I'm not sure how significant this hamstring injury for Donaldson is, but you got to think Yankees call up another infielder. The only infielder on the 40 man, by the way, is Peraza, who doesn't play any third base. Uh, I don't know what you're doing with your knee over there, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, DJ at school. third, uh, <laughs> Donaldson on the bench probably to, or maybe ICAF gets a little more playing time. Who knows? No, yeah, they, that's what they were saying on on the, on the broadcast. They were saying this could be a big opportunity for IKF. And right after they said that, he gets a ground ball and overthrows and overthrows or terrible throw to Rizzo, yeah. and he has to like tag him out. I was like, that's just a funny um, happening that that happened right after they said that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't hate IKF like at third batting eighth. Like I really don't hate that. Mm. Like yeah, I mean. Like you said, I mean, like everyone said, the only issue is you can't have Donaldson, Hicks, Higgy, and IKF in the lineup, which is what they had for game two. Mm-hmm. So, like, that game, like, you know, I, I feel like I feel like we used to be mad about a lineup like that, but it's like, 
I think we fully accept like this is what the Yankees do in April, and yeah. like they're gonna do the funky lineup thing. And quick shout out, I I really have been enjoying the John Boy Media Aaron Boone conversations. I don't know if you've yeah, been watching those. I have, been. dude. Those, those are, are like that might like I if if it wasn't free to watch, like if they put that on their um, Patreon or whatever it is, mm-hmm. I would pay. I would pay for that. Same. Like, and I'm I am not an individual, a college student with a lot of money right now, and I would pay to watch those interviews. Like those interviews are freaking amazing, and the fact that they got Vizio to sponsor it is actually crazy like that's like an actual like massive company like it's not like mugsy jeans or some <laughs> shit like it's like an actual company yeah so really cool but yeah like 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 boone like booney was saying um like this is what they're gonna do in april um and like you know i just kind of feel like don't be mad at us this is what this is what we said we're gonna do like we're still gonna win games and try to put our best product out there but you know every couple days we're gonna throw a lineup out there with like four duds in the bottom of the lineup and it's like deal with it you know and it's like okay whatever i just hope they don't it doesn't come up against a game like the blue jays or the astros or the they're playing you know dodgers or rays yeah i just hope it's not one of those because you know you want to put your best talent out there because you don't want to be sitting here at the end of the season if you're you know you're you're in a playoff race with the Blue Jays or you know maybe the Rays I don't know Hell and you, and man. you're like wow nice. wow maybe I really could have had some of those games where I put that bullshit line about there yeah. maybe I could have had some of those games so you know it is what it is on that note but yeah we should get into rating the offense can I just ask you quickly about what you think about Franchi Cordero I like him you like him I like huh? Franchi okay. dude great name. Uh, I I kind of like his swing. Like he he had a double in this series, didn't he? He did. He did in that game one, eight one blowout. Frenchy Cordero. That guy is an exit velocity. Yeah, two king. RBIs. Like honestly, he's like the perfect backup outfielder, and like could play some first too. Mm-hmm. Like I like him perfect. over Florial. I can say that. At least he can make contact with a fastball over ninety miles an hour. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> like damn, Florial hit continues. Speaking of that, dude, see Aaron Noah just like. Pumping like eighty nine on the corners, just getting outs. Yeah, like he's dude, fun pitcher to that's watch. That's nuts. It's just so different and like refreshing. Like because I know he can hit ninety five. Like he can. The contrast between just him like, and Colton Day was pretty stark and interesting. It's fun to watch. That knuckle curve is nasty. Yeah, uh, I can make contact with it. No, you can't. Okay, let's uh, let's give out our grades, our brownie points for the offense. Um, I don't know. Do you want to go first? You have a m- number of mine? I, I think you should go first. Okay. Got well, eight runs. The Yankees offense was amazing in game one. Uh, brought the tying run to the plate in game two, um, which felt... But you also have to, you know, that's not a real lineup. It's not a real lineup, and it felt like a loss all the way through, but still managed to get the tying run to the plate, which means something in my book. And then today, they, they scored four runs. Uh, it was kind of all Glaber, but... DJ had a couple nice hits. Trevino, the home run. So I'm going to give a nice... Judge lined out. <laughs> we got to mention all judge line outs. Uh, I'm going to give a 7.2. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't really... I, I Like, with this Yankees offense, you know, when it's the actual lineup... They've had no problem scoring. Yeah. It's it, it's it's when it's when they do the bullshit stuff is when is when you know when is, they do is the when bullshit. They you're kind of just hoping because then no because no runners the, the issue is no runners get on in the bottom and then you get solo shots from Judge Stanton. You're kind you of know, just Rizzo. hoping for four straight home runs from the top four hitters. Ex- exactly because no one's getting on. So I can't really be mad at that middle game set because they weren't really like trying to win to be honest. So okay, it's like it was. I'm gonna give him a nice like I'm gonna give him a nice like eight point three. I'm pretty high on this offense right now. Okay, that's Especially fine. Especially with Glaber and DJ Hot. That's fine with me. Um, and on to the pitching side of things, I think I want to start it off with some starting pitching because today, fresh on our minds, Garrett Cole, uh, another ace-like performance out of him. He goes into the seventh, allowing just one run, which scored on a, on a walk that was caused by a pitch clock violation. Doesn't really count. Yeah. Fake run. Um, he, yeah. He's, a, he's, again, amazing. against a really good lineup in the Phillies. Um, we go to the first game, back to the first game where Nestor Cortez makes his first start. He was pretty sharp in my book. I thought he was pretty good. Um, his line isn't, isn't amazing. It does, it's not eye popping, but, uh, he still goes five innings, allows just one run. He made that nice, nice backup play on Franchi Cordero's airmail throw, gets the guy at third that kind of settled things down for him. Um, kept the game in check. And then game two was Domingo Herman, your guy, you kept... Uh, continuously defending him, and I was kind of off the train. 
his stuff looked pretty good. Uh, eight strikeouts for him gives up four runs, two on uh, on Michael King's watch, but he gives up two runs to two home runs to Kyle Schwarber and Brandon Marsh. Oh man, this pitching is pretty good. Uh, it's just waiting for their big guns to come back, but for what it's worth, they're they're doing their job, keeping the Yankees in the game. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I agree. I mean, there's there's not really any complaints. Uh, I thought I thought Domingo was fine. Um, I I really I really do think he could pitch better. But like, I mean, decent Phillies lineup. I I don't. What was his line? I don't think his line was that bad at all. Four point two four hundred, I think. Again, the yeah, two I mean, runs like, were on King. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, Domingo Domingo really you know pitched fine. Um, I mean, that's exactly what you want in a four or five starter. It, you know, goes out there, gives you a little bit of length, and then you got let down uh, by my king. Um, but yeah, Garrett Cole continues to have his Cy Young season, which me and Ken both predicted. Mm-hmm. Um, his line is 6.1, three hits, one run on a kind of a bullshit, two walks, even though it says three, eight Ks. Um, so yeah, and, and you know, Cole just... Really, really working dotting the fastball today, which is something that you know he's he's had some trouble with fastball command in the past, um, especially to a lineup with this much you know home run pop. I, I guess not as much without um, Reese and Harper, um, but still, still a, a lot of big threats. Yeah, yeah, still still formidable lineup, and he's <clears throat> dotting up fastballs, working in the changeup. With Cole's changeup has gotten much yeah. better in the last two years too. Good point. Um, so something something there, and then you know the tight slider uh, he's always had. So yeah, I mean Cole just looks dominant as hell. Nestor, Ken already said, um, first start of the year. I'm completely fine with that start. Obviously, give up a, you know kind of a lot of hits, seven hits, but it, it, it's fine. It, Philly kind of managed it. Philly kind of needed, uh, you know, needed to have some offensive production. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the starting pitching. Um, a quick injury update: Rodon uh, is throwing from seven, no, from ninety feet. Ooh. Rodon is throwing from ninety feet as of today or yesterday. I was. Checking my fantasy updates, if or maybe that was. There's two. There's Sevi. They're both on like their similar thing. Let's see what it says about Rodon here, because Sevi and Rodon are actually pretty like lined up to come back at a similar time. Let's see. Slowly working back from form strain. Hmm. No, okay, it was Sevi that was throwing from 90 feet. So he, so oh, okay, but he threw. Oh, he threw two bullpens. Oh, yeah. look at that. So he's going to throw another bullpen sometime this week, too. Uh, could p- potentially see hitters in next live session. So uh, we're going to see Rodon probably at the end of April, which is a, you know an earlier timetable than what we thought. Sevy is looking more like mid-May because um, Sevy hasn't gotten to that bullpen yet. He's the one throwing from 90 feet. My bad. Um, Still good but yeah, news. I mean we're we're gonna we're gonna have our guys back soon, and and once we get our guys back, like May 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 and June is like go time. It's when you win your games, uh, middle of the get summer. Fat. So you know That's this when you get fat. Yeah, you get fat on these these big W's that you take. So pitching's looking good. Yeah, um, I'm gonna give a cool eight point four. How's okay, that? I like it. How's that sound? I like it. I'm I'm right with you. I'm gonna be about an eight point five. Sorry to be boring, guys, but I mean pitching's good. Not a lot of complaints, Domingo. Um, I mean, Domingo and Nestor could have been better, but you know, your your two guys you wanted to perform, Nestor and Cole performed. What more can you ask for? Yeah, the top two pitchers performed. Um, bullpen, uh, it's a little interesting. Uh, the there's a lot of good. Ian Hamilton, the combio and the slider combination. What do they call it? Slambio. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, Loizaga pitched well in game one. Holmes uh, pitched well in game one and three. Um, there's a lot of good. Uh, Abreu looked really if... good in Game Two. Um, King right. also looked yeah. good in Game Two, but fell apart in Game Three. What, what are you What are you looking at right now in this bullpen? Um, I'm. I mean, uh, you know, Mike King's my guy. I I, I drafted him in fantasy. I, I think he's. I think he's one of the best pitchers in the AL. I still I still do. Um, his, his velo is a little low. I think that's what's hurting him right now. I think he's not really blowing by guys at 94, 95. You know, he was getting up to like 98, 99, 100 last year. Um, So, you know, it's, again, though, early in the year coming off of an injury, you can't expect the guy to come out here throwing 100. Um, But I I think it's also location. He's he's not really locating his pitches well, Um, leaving some pitches up, which, which, you know, you don't want to do. Um, But I'm still not on the worry train yet. Obviously, four hits is not... Really good. Um, actually, doesn't have his ERA affected much because those are Herman's runs. Um, 
But yeah, I'm not too worried about him yet. But honestly, the one guy I've really been impressed with is Abreu so far and Cordero. Abreu and Cordero, two guys. I had that, a feeling you, know, you might like Cordero. I, I, dude, I Both love Cordero. Isaacs, he, uh, you know, who he reminds me of who? Clay Holmes. Yes. No. Last year's team. Miguel Castro, because that was your guy. <laughs> he does. He he's does. literally. He's just a retooled Miguel Castro. They. I, he throws they more strikes like? than Miguel Castro. Barely. <laughs> no, no. He's but, literally. They both have just a hundred mile an hour sinkers, and they. Wait. They don't look alike. Stop. Stop doing this right now. I will tell you who Miguel Castro does look like. He kind of looks like Franchi Cordero, the face. Um, but Miguel Castro is very slim, slender guy. A lot of the Dominican guys like clean shaven, like it's like not, they don't. This is getting this is getting risky. We'll, we'll I'm gonna switch. I was topics. joking. I was joking. I was no, joking. No, I was no. joking. Okay. But um, got no, Jimmy Dominican Cordero. Listeners. We love you. I you know, so when I I back when I used to play MLB the Show, um, I did like the White Sox. Um, what is it like Road to the World Series? Uh-huh. Was uh-huh. it October March run to, or whatever March it is? To October. Yeah, March, October. And, like, the only righty out of the pen I would use is Jimmy Cordero. And he was, nasty. like, insane. He was actually nasty. And so I, when the, when I heard he was, like, last year playing in the Yankees, like, AAA, I was like, what? Like, how is that guy not a major leaguer? Like, he's throwing 100-mile-an-hour sinkers. And then, it, like, it was like, oh, co- okay, command issues. Um, uh, but I'm really yeah, glad he's on the team. Yeah, no. I two like Corderos. <clears throat> two Corderos is pretty nice. And two... Um, Franchi. Um, Do you think they're friends? Franchi and Jimmy? That should be a T-shirt. I don't, I don't think they talk to each other. Have they met each other? Said hello. What's where up? are they? May, let me see where they're from. Like maybe they're from a similar place. Oh boy, we're, we're getting a little risky again. <laughs> no, we're. <it's, laughs> I'm just saying. Stop. Just no, be careful. You're, you're tip-toe. the one doing it. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Dude, look at him on the White Sox. He's a beast. He is a beast. How tall okay, is he? Dominican Republic. Um, By the way, Isaac's visited the great country of Dominican Republic before. He's twice. taught baseball, and, and not just like the resorts, guys. I, I I've been in, this, I, you know, I've been stop. Yeah. Not getting risky, man. I'm not, dude. Yeah, they're both from the Dominican Republic. Both 28. Cut it out. Okay, I. That's fine. That's all fine. You said they look alike, and all Dominicans clean shaven and look alike. That's not what I said. That's that's, that's gotta be cut out. Sorry. Wait. Hold on. I'm not even putting that in. <laughs> Okay, San Cron- San Cristobal Province, Dominican Republic. Okay. Oh wait, no, he's thirty-one. Okay, let's. So see they're what both that not is. twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of made that up. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely uh, made that up. Uh, on a map. Let's see where it is on a map. Uh, Maybe it's close. <laughs> okay, San Cristobal close, Province, kind of smack in the middle of the country. Okay. Okay, Franchi Cordero from Azura, Dominican Republic. Let's see where that is. On the coast, I believe. Oh, it is on the. How did you know that, bro? I'm in. I'm in lockstep with Dominican Republic, bro. I'm a geography guy. Wait. Oh no 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 no. We might have to. What? Stop this. Why? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> San Cristobal. It's saying it's in Mexico, <laughs> but it says Dominican Republic. <laughs> No, no, no! It's definitely the Maker Republic. I told you we're okay, getting wait, risky, wait, 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 bro. Wait. I'm done. No, 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 Listen, listen, hear me. Can, I, can you hear me out? Oh, my There's goodness. a city in Mexico called San Cristobal, and there's a province in Dominican Republic okay. called San Cristobal. Okay, Thank I, you for that's the a mix up. We, it was okay. getting little... Let's move on. I'm Let's done tiptoeing and tight roping, <laughs> all, right? all right? It's not tiptoeing. I'm just, <laughs> we're Jesus getting risky, Christ. all right? No, okay, I'm going to talk about Michael King for one more second because I. I'm not worried about Michael King whatsoever. I wanted to ask you what your uh what where does Michael King fall on Isaac's um panic panic meter zero to a ten? Zero to a ten or zero to ten? <laughs> zero to ten Sorry. Isaac's okay. panic meter. Um, where does Michael yeah. King land? Four four. Okay, because I'm at his cool zero. Um not worried at all. Oh, oh, don't do me like that. Isaac's I thought you worried were worried about like... Michael King, his guy, but you know, I've seen Stop. Jonathan Loisica last fucked. year who really struggle after having a really nice year in twenty twenty one. If I asked you first, you would have definitely said like three or four. No, or I'm five not or panicked. I'm sorry. You just I'm needed just... to undercut me because you know it's my guy, so you had to undercut I, me. I, I absolutely bro, I literally said I wasn't worried whatsoever about him before I asked you that. So anyway, Michael King will be fine. Hmm. Clay Holmes, hmm. I was a little worried about last episode. Uh, gets this, picks up the save, strikes out the side today. So I, uh, that was very encouraging Absolutely to gorgeous. see. Uh, gorgeous sinkers, those sinkers, bro. The outside, he didn't do that much last year. Coming in from like the 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 lefties batter's box all the way across, um, just great stuff. So I'm gonna give this uh, bullpen a nice 
I mean, look at this. Who gave up runs? Let me check. Uh, only Loizica gave up a single run. This bullpen's kind of on a fire. And he didn't tear. pitch. He hasn't War pitched. Path. Um, I'm going to give a nine. That's it. Move on. What about you? Okay. Um, I mean, obviously Kinger could be better. I want to see um, Cutie Boy. Right. Kinger. I want to see Wandy. These earned runs are got me a little bit. I'm. Can I lower my shit? Kinger. I, I mean, forgot about yeah, Kinger. you didn't let me. Yeah, how did you forget about the one guy that had a bad? You see, you did you really was, say the I only guy that gave up a positive. run was? Old? I was getting. I was no, getting nice no, move. you forgot. Just, just say you forgot, and we can move on. No, I never forget stuff. Um, I forgot. Seven point eight. Fair enough. I like. I like that. Um, I wish I saw Wandy. I wish I saw Wandy's cute true, face. Yep. Um, I, I, I don't know why he didn't pitch in. I, I mean, I think there's got to be a lefty lane some somewhere in there with Where's you know, Schwarber, Spot, Stott. Are we sure about that, Ken? He's from Dominican Republic, Ken? yes. Okay. I, like, half of the MLB is from the Dominican Republic. It's not like a no, big shot. No, it's shocker. not. It's really, there's like a hundred some players, so. Really? Yeah. Not all the, half. honestly, all the good players. 20%. I think the top 10 youngest best players in the MLB, majority from okay. Dominican Republic, right? Ta- no, seriously. Uh, no. no, I don't Tatis, think so. Tatis, Soto. Okay. Yeah, we. I know we can name them, but I don't know if top like, 10% is. Okay, wait. Who do you consider under 25 the top 10 players in the MLB right now? I bet half of them are doing I don't know exactly their ages, but... Um, okay, like young guy. Like, who do you think of as a young guy? You know, Julio. You know what I mean? Dominican. Uh, Fernando Tatis. Dominican. Okay. Uh, now, now the Dominican Soto, guys are the- in my head, bro. Right, you got right. No, no, no. But uh, I'm sure Glaber Torres, Jim as well. Okay, I mean the Caracas. Um, well, he's not really a young guy anymore. He's 26. Okay, pretty. He's young, not a Glay baby. Glay baby yeah, doesn't. Um, you know what I noticed today? Something hit me today. What? Glaber has graduated the cute, cute category, and he's moved on. To and now he's hot. hot. Yeah, he's just hot now. Do, I'm sorry. Do you think he's like dad hot? Like, no, no. Stop. Let's not get weird. I don't think he's. Is oh, he did have a child last year though. Yeah, do I see the. Do you not follow Glaber Torres on Instagram? I do. I see his a lot. Of, he posts a lot of it about his car and his kids. Um, I'm about to fact check that. His car, his BMW little partnership he's got going. That's on. That's an ad, dude. That's not his. Like, no, I know, but he posts it. It pops up. Um, yeah, Glaber's hot. Like physically and on the baseball field. Uh, yeah, both. Every way a man can be hot, Glaber is that. You actually aren't following Glaber Torres. That's so dis. You know he's my guy. I'm following Glaber Torres. You just oh, there's Sky Roselle. Um, all right. So what'd you? Okay, get your calculator out, please. What'd you get for the relievers? How many brownie points? I'm actually trying to. Isaac, you're actually not following him. Can you please give me your brownie points? I'm gonna Rob give Donaldson. I'm not following David, Donald. Every club baseball boy. Every club. Nicholas Vaderwells, Ben Vaderwells, <laughs> no Ken, dude, dead ass, That's no just Ken. So cap, obviously I'm following Glaber Torres. Dude, pull it up right, right now. Come on, come on. Can you please focus? You're gonna wait. I'm I'm fact checking myself. You're not following Glaber Torres. Ken, you're actually not. How dude. many I'm Yankees even... do you follow on Instagram? Ken. Okay, everyone, see Glaber Torres, mutual followers. Obviously, I follow Ken. More followers. Search followers. Ken Suzuki. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. You can expose. I told you I followed Dude, you were not on the list, though. Loki, you were not on the list okay, when I checked Instagram twice. Instagram glitch. Anyway, can you please give me your reliever brownie <sighs> points? Oh, my God. And then take out your calculator. Just, like, let's get this moving. Okay, fine, fine. I, 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 really, I really like Clay Holmes. Um, I know you do. I, I like lasagna, man. I, I like Jimmy. I like Slambia. I like I like Jimmy. Slambia's uh, gonna turn gonna, into his name, bro. I'm gonna give him a eight one. Okay, ready? Kinger's gonna figure it out. Eight point one okay. plus eight point two plus eight point five equals twenty four point eight divided by thirty equals eighty two point six. Okay, another B minus, two B minuses to start off the Yankees season for Isaac Springer Goldberg. Um. All right, three numbers, 7.8, 8.4, and 7.2 equals... Dude, stop. 7.8, 7.2, 8.4 equals... 23.4 divided by 30. Another another B minus sounds like, yep. 
78 C plus for Ken. Ooh, I'm giving a cool. Ken's a hater. A My hater? God, it's because of that dud guys. in the middle. Guys, I've never that ain't seen good. that on my grade page, by the way. So I, it does say 87 so if you look at it backwards. Yeah. So you gave him an 87. Basically. No, I didn't give him it. I gave him a C plus. I'm going to be straightforward. Because they, they can be better. Um, moving they on, we be. did give a rotten egg at the beginning of the show, which we normally don't do, but we have to give our golden egg. And I'm going to go first because you went first last time, and I'm taking the guy I follow on Instagram, Glaber Malfoyton Torres. We talked awesome about him. pick. Yank it wrong. I'm going the other guy that's hot. I'm going ear, ear, DJ LeMahieu. Oh, that is my freaking guy. Single. Oh, no, no. New hit single, DJ LeMahieu. Uh, this one is called DJ Gappers. Six. Ear, ear. Yeah, no. He, DJ is actually it's going off this episode. year. Okay. Ear, ear. Oh, scene. We got it. Seer, scene. All right. All right. Yeah, DJ is uh, going to gonna win the MVP. Okay, you heard it here first. You might, might want to sprinkle some Monet on that. Um, on to standings watch. Really not that interesting this early, but Rays are undefeated still. I told you guys that the Rays would be good Do this not year. not care at they all. They are the on fire. I Picked up Yandy I saw today. someone hitting a home run on the Rays, and I have no Wander. idea who it was. Wander no. Franco. It was like a white guy, lefty, tall. I've never That's seen him That's what the before. Rays do. They want <laughs> you like, to do that. He like hit a massive want, home run. Bro. It was like it was like Adam Smith goes deep. I'm like, That's who is exactly this Exactly the Rays <laughs> plan. I know. I know. Oh, my I God. I fucking hate the Rays. They just. Oh, God, man. Yeah. I hate the Rays. Do that. Um, moving on to looking forward in the next series, up to the upcoming series. The Yankees Cancel are heading tomorrow. down to Baltimore. Um, I think, is that a flight or do they take a train down there? Probably a flight. Train? Um, dude, sometimes they take a they bus, take train. dude. No, they a don't. Bus they to never Baltimore? Take a train. Dude, Cut they it don't out. take trains. You think the New York Yankees take trains? Do you think the New York Yankees take buses to games? Yes, that's, that's how they get there. No, 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 no. From the go? airport. Are you serious? From the airport, yeah. A bus. From the hotel. Yeah, from the hotel. They're not going from New York to Baltimore on a bus. York that's fucking Yankees three and a half hours, four trains. hours. I don't think they've ever taken the trains. They take trams. Well, not trams. What is it called? Dude, they they do not. Okay, le- they okay. Don't, maybe man. I was that's wrong. Ins- Fine. They, bus. they, <laughs> they bus, don't. Dude. Yeah, it says Stop. Right here. They do not bus from New York to Baltimore. You're out of your mind. How else do they, what do they, what do they walk? Plane. Yeah, if anything, but they don't train. Okay, that's I was wrong. That's insane that you would say train. No, okay, that's train? crazy. Stop, 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 stop calling. That's crazy. Dude, Same what train, t- what train, there's so many things wrong with that statement. What train, like, could the Yankees just, like, rent out a train that would go all the way to Baltimore? Like, yeah, there dude, is like, actually. the only trains left in the country are, like, public passenger trains that go into there's cities. There's an Amtrak there's not- from New York to uh, Baltimore that's way faster. Um, look at this. Bro, bro, look at this. Baltimore MD to New York City, $66. Yeah, times fucking 55. Well, you think how can't they don't out? Re- no, and that's not what I'm sa- that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the Yankees don't they don't rent out train cars like what they is this 1925? This is Amtrak we're talking about, bro. <laughs> dude, they they fly private. Like come on. 246. Okay, about? yeah, they thought th- So you said they take a bus, which would take longer than the Amtrak. I, more likely they would take a bus than a train. Yeah. They, no, no, bro. They would they would have to sit on that bus for 5 hours. Or 2 hour 47 minute Amtrak? I don't know. Which is more insane? Comment below. You know what? When we interview Boone, we'll ask him. Okay. When we do that in 10 years, we'll ask him <laughs> if they if they have ever taken an Amtrak down to Baltimore. All right. All right. Um, Gunnar Henderson is a guy I'm looking forward on. to looking uh, or watching on the Orioles. Said, right, did you pick actually. up Grayson Rod- Rodriguez? I did. Because I, I kind of want him. No, no. I, I knew, so. Dude, I had no ads this week, and I went to pick up Grayson Rodriguez, and I couldn't. No, and then I, the next minute I see he's on guy. your team. I, I, I drafted him in the actual draft. Dropped him because he didn't make the team and then picked him back up. So that's my guy. Um, I was I literally beat you to it. I just didn't have any ads. You never beat me to it. Sorry. Um, yeah, and that about wraps things up. Thank you guys for listening. Um, make question sure, of the day? No. Question of the day. Um, are you a big Blackstone guy? Yes. What do you cook on Blackstone? Um, various types of entrepreneurship. You don't, You only get that joke if you know what Blackstone is. Uh, I th- I completely I thought Blackstone was It's okay. A, it's okay. It's okay. Blackstone Launchpad is a entrepreneurship company. <laughs> so I thought Blackstone was like those cooking 
hot hop. You know what I'm talking about? The grill's outside, but it's like a hot plate. Can you look? Can you look it up, please? Blacktop cooking, Blackstone. What are you talking about? Blackstone. So where does the launch pad? Where does the launch pad fit into that? Where does the launch pad? So you think it oh, cooks really? the food and then it launches it into the air? Can just Maybe look, that's up what it does. look up Blackstone. Look up Blackstone right now. I, not my my computer's about to die. Sorry, uh, I can't. Share screen. <laughs> no way, you're actually sharing screen, bro. All right, bro, I, we gotta this end is... this. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, this has been Bleacher Boys Media with another episode. Me and Ken just talking yanks, chilling with you guys. Talking Blackstone. Um, if you if you if you guys like this episode, please like and subscribe. We appreciate it because you know, like only you if know, you like we, it we, though. We... If you don't like it, just no. If you don't like it, like Ken, what are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, if if you really don't like us, unsubscribe. That's fine. I don't really, I don't really. Actually, I do care. Uh, I do care I want too. the Sorry. channel to do well. Yeah. So yeah, please stay with us. Subscribe. We'll be back soon to talk about baseball with you boys. Thank you. Thank you.